Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, so I'm at the iTap Mobile booth at Macworld, and uh, I've got Peter here to show me kind of what, what's, what's new with iTap Mobile. Okay, yeah. I'm going to show you, first of all, our uh, remote desktop products, um, and then uh, probably the touchpad, because it has some cool things to, to show with the new gestures, and which are pretty similar to the Magic Trackpad. And I think we should just turn over to the computer. I'll grab the iPad. So what we do from the touchpad side is that we we do have two applications. One is one is the RDP client, one is the VNC client. So this one is to connect to, to Windows computers, the other one to Mac or Linux computers mostly. And for the RDP client, I'm right now connected to, for example, a Windows server, uh, Windows 2008 in this case. I'm just browsing around here, New York Times website in Firefox because it's the application that is just running right now. I could also browse around the file system or any application running on my Windows server, uh, which makes it great to access data or applications running in your office or at home. It's pretty similar then to use the VNC application. Here the demo host is configured, just our iMac here in the background. Yeah, and if we connect here over to the iMac, uh, we just get the, I the iMac loaded here full screen. I can. Again, do the things and see the same things on the, uh, as on the iMac. It's standard Mac screen sharing, just enabled by checking the screen sharing icon. Works over 3G, or how, how, how do you guys solve that problem? It works on any kind of network. Um, the only thing that is required is a direct connection to the computer, of course, but that's all. And for Windows, you could also use WinC, but RDP is highly recommended there because it's the native protocol. It provides more features, more speeds, more everything. And then a short overview to the touchpad. The touchpad application is just, like I said, kind of a magic trackpad. I can, for example, just remotely control the mouse cursor. We should get something like this. <laughs> the mouse cursor here in the background, I can, for example, click on the browser. And then through gestures, open the keyboard, go to our website, for example, which opens in the background now, here on the iMac, and I can still control it. And I have access to multi-touch gestures like, like with the Magic Trackpad. I can zoom, I can call Exposé, put it back again, um, switch applications, things like that. All the three finger, four finger, two finger uh, gestures work like on the Magic Track. The same ones, you yeah, just exactly. copy what Apple does. Makes sense because it just unifies the experience. Yeah, the only difference is we were there about one and a half years before Apple did it. <laughs> so so um, this app is basically just a trackpad replacement, basically, and uh, even keyboard as well? Yeah, it's keyboard, like I showed when typing the URL. It's keyboard, uh, some multimedia keys, and, and the trackpad. Pricing, uh, pricing on all the apps. Uh, Sorry, didn't uh, the price on the apps, the RDP. various apps. The RDP and VNC client are priced for eleven ninety nine, and the touchpad for three ninety nine. Okay. Very cool. And they're at App Store today. Yeah, they're all in the App Store. Okay, very cool. And then, the, is there any server stuff you need to install on the computers uh, you use? For RDP and VNC, there's no server stuff required. Uh, for for the touchpad, there's a small utility required to do the pairing and uh, discovery of the clients. Very cool. Thank you for your time. Thank you.